Welcome to the lesson on Introduction to Conventional Source and Energy. At the end of this lesson, we will be able to learn about an experiment on how electricity is made, the sources of conventional energy, how these energies are made usable to us, the way technology has improved these energies. Dad, switch on the light. I have to study. Sorry, son. There is a power cut. Too bad. I need to study about electricity. Do you really want to know how electricity is made? Yes. Is it simple? Yes, it is. Let us do an experiment to understand the basic process of making electricity. Split the ball at three places. Insert three metal pieces in them. Now, pivot it to a metal axis. Get a cycle dynamo, a bulb and a pressure cooker. Connect the four like this. Now, watch this. Wow! How does this happen? When the steam comes from the pipe, it hits the tennis ball blades with force. This turns the heat energy into kinetic energy. The cycle dynamo converts the kinetic energy into electric energy. I never thought making electricity was so simple. Thermal and hydropower plants are an advanced version of the electricity experiment. Thermal power plant? Hydropower plant? We receive our electricity from thermal and hydropower plants. In thermal power plants, we use coal and petroleum to heat water into steam. Like in the table tennis experiment, this steam rotates the turbine. Exactly. And guess what happens in a hydropower plant? Hydro comes from the word water. We use water? Correct. Waterfall from which water comes down with great force can be used to turn a turbine. But there are very few such waterfalls. Exactly. That is why hydropower plants are made at water dams. The water level rises in a dam and the water comes down with a force that helps to turn the turbine. Biogas is another good source of conventional sources of energy. Biogas is made out of plants and animal products. When we simply burn them, they give you a lot of smoke and not enough heat. But with technology, it is now possible to make sure that they produce great amount of heat energy and almost no smoke. Look at the diagram. This is a biogas plant. Slurry is the cow dung or raw materials mixed with water. The gas generated is a form of energy that can be utilized in many ways such as lighting. Wind energy is also a good source of conventional sources of energy. Dad, what is the role of windmills? This brings us to another source of conventional energy, wind energy. Windmills are located in places where the wind blows at very high speeds. The wind turns the windmill. This energy is then used to turn the turbine of the electric generator. Wind energy must be environment friendly since there is no burning involved. Correct! After completion of this lesson, you are able to t An experiment on how electricity is made The sources of conventional energy How these energies are made usable to us 
the way technology has improved these energies.